Hello everybody, your local electricians here, Dustin and Brian with Exquisite Electric. Um, just wanted to give you a, a little bit of insight into our experience we had last year. Uh, Dustin came to me mid-summer last year, just in conversation and said, hey, do you, uh, you wanna be on HGTV? And I said, what? And he's like, yeah, you wanna be on HGTV? And so, yeah, sure, that'd be cool. Just kind of brushed it off, didn't know what he was talking about. And then a couple weeks later, he's like, well, pop by the office, we have a, we have a phone call with producers. I'm like, oh, this is really happening? Like, well, I have no idea what's going on, how we got involved. And so Dustin can elaborate on that a little bit. Yeah, so kind of an interesting story in how we even got involved in the project is, um, so we do some work for a contractor in, in Okotoks. Um, <clears throat> excuse me uh west oak uh west oak renovations and designs um do lots of work for them so they came to us and said hey we're doing this project in salt spring island for a family that used to uh live in oak tokes um would you guys be interested in coming out with us it's on tv and you know all this stuff and i was a little bit like ah, i don't know like that's in bc things work a little bit differently there as far as electrical goes and and it's on an island that we've never really been there and there's not really you know you can't run to the store and buy electrical parts if you get there and you need something so we were a little bit like eh, i don't know like and then they uh they told me it was the the norse were the family and we were like oh that's the norse yeah we know the norse and uh actually my my daughter and and their daughter are were really good friends in Okotoks, so we kind of knew them so we're like oh okay well now it's a family we know so there's a little bit more i guess incentive to to go out and help and get involved so you know we decided that uh, because we kind of knew everybody we were working with that we thought maybe it would be a good experience <laughs> did we have any idea how many hoops we would have to jump through to go we were literally yeah. <laughs> in the van after everything. We were all packed up, ready to go. Let's get this journey underway. And we were in the van still waiting on final answers from people <laughs> on uh, on just different things because there's so many, so many things happening as who's bringing this, what's that. Me and Dustin had no idea what we were even jumping into. We'd seen a couple pictures. We're, we're building a bunkie. <laughs> And just crazy little things like, like the, there was a big trench that had to get dug for for the power, and we said, "Well, it's it's on an island. Islands are made of rock." <laughs> and Brian and I are like, we like to be very organized. We like to know exactly what we're getting into. I hate not knowing. Yeah, we like to be really prepared <laughs> and and just like go in and know every detail of the job. So it was really stressful for us to just be like, Let's we're going it. to this property we've never seen. And there's nowhere you can go get anything and you just have to bring it all and hope for the best. So that it was really stressful right from the beginning. And you have to get business licenses and permits for everything. BC works a, a lot differently than Alberta does, we'll put it that way. But so we packed up the van with everything in it, packed our golf clubs and our fishing, <laughs> our fishing gear. Cause we thought, yeah, we're going to the island. We'll have time, we'll to, have time to use extracurricular them. stuff. No, no, not, not the case. No. Nope. So we headed out in the morning. We made it to Kamloops. Kamloops, maybe the first night. <clears throat> and I slept like a baby in the hotel. <clears throat> How'd you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I did not sleep well. Um, I told him either fall asleep before me or bring earplugs. That's his I, fault. I went and bought some earplugs. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Brian's Brian can be a little bit noisy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we get to the, I'll never forget it. The ferry ride over there was beautiful. It was amazing. We get there and I wish I could have taken a picture of both of our faces. I, I swear we just pulled into the twilight zone. If anybody's been to Salt Spring Island, man, it's a totally different place. <laughs> it is, it's just so relaxed. Everybody's on their own time zone. We'd ask, you know, can we, can we get a hold of these people to ask them questions? And say, well, I don't know if they're working. I'm like, well, it's it's Tuesday. They say, well, yeah, people on the island here, they work, they don't work if the sun's shining, and they usually work, you know, Monday to Wednesday. And besides that, nobody works. Definitely but, a different mentality, that's for sure. 
But yeah, we got up there, we met the Norths, and I have to say that the Norths are probably one of the coolest families I've ever met in my life. <clears throat> uh, we made some, or Dustin knew them before, I the first time I met them, and I made some lifelong friends, I think. They're, I'd have no issues showing up at their house one day, hey, I'm here. <laughs> and they would welcome you with open arms, just some of the coolest people I've ever met. Um, but yeah, the, the work, we'd be on site at <laughs> six o'clock in the morning. Well, I mean, yeah, first of all, <laughs> it was what, like a 16 hour drive there? 12 hours and then 12 a ferry. Hours, and then a ferry. And then another ferry. Another ferry. <laughs> <clears throat> and, and in our work vehicle. So that was an experience. Even like Brian and I don't go on the ferry a lot. So even just trying to figure out how we were going to get to this place and then. Which ferry did we take? I don't know, BC Ferry? No, I wanted you to say the two Austin. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> I, I didn't even remember that. Anyway. But yeah, once we got there, yeah, we thought we would be uh, having some time to ourselves. <laughs> a little bit of a vacation. It was not. It was pretty much up at 6 a.m. and home at maybe 9 p.m. kind of thing. Yeah, it was a lot of work. <clears throat> a lot yeah. of work. <clears throat> so For I'm five just... days. But on the plus side of things, uh, the Norse fed us pretty much every single day so it was a little easier on the wallets there's on the drive over there on the ferry yeah a little bit easier on the wallets because they took care of us that's for sure we ate well nick had coffee for little us coffee every morning. and donuts and yeah, they were cool man pizza and all kinds of things like that yeah working with west oak <laughs> renovation and design <laughs> with nick and amy they were no, ben sorry. And Amy. Ben and Amy. You were thinking about Nick him. and Catherine. Ben and Amy. Yeah, they were they were great to work with. We had a great time. At the end of the day, it was an awesome experience. Um, I, I learned a lot about how things operate in BC. Um, there there was a there was a store on the island. They had a couple plugs oh, and switches, yeah, like a home hardware <laughs> kind of deal. <clears throat> even even like trying to get BC Hydro to come out to disconnect power, it was like they're not in a hurry they send a guy out to the island like once a month and so they were like no no we we'll, maybe we'll help you out uh, and we you know we're, we're used to here where you can call them up and within you know with the utility company within a day or two you have an answer and have some you know it's all taken care of things just don't move like that there what does everybody say experience. over there that's island life that's island life, <laughs> that's island life. But yeah, go check out uh, the show. It's called Life Under Renovation. Right now, it's currently on Discovery Plus in the Streaming States. on Discovery Plus. We had our little cameos on the show that we've seen a couple times. We, Besides electrical, we were even helped building the bunkie. Bunkie was pretty cool. I think I want to build one in my yard. I definitely want to build my own <laughs> bunkie, man. So, it was fun to build, too, I think. You know, it was like an adult-sized and... Lego set. It was, was like, what it was. 100%. <laughs> <clears throat> just a big lego set and you know one thing too is we don't have like spiders like they have oh there. my god the brian spiders. had to go in the pit i was not having any of it <laughs> oh i got pictures of the spiders i'll i'll post some pictures of spiders <laughs> oh terrible what was, yeah. what was your what was your highlight of the trip going besides home, hanging going out home? with me for a week <laughs> going home and getting some sleep so, so me and Dustin, <laughs> we brought our fishing poles, our golf clubs, because, yeah, we wanted to do some of that. <laughs> On the way home, I think we stopped in Revelstoke for the night because we were both just exhausted after we almost got hit by a boulder we on just, the highway. And we just drove eight hours. <laughs> I'm like, no, we're, we're golfing somewhere. So we hadn't even checked into the hotel yet, straight to the golf course after an eight-hour drive. And just changed in the parking lot, went and played 18 holes. Could barely swing the golf club. <laughs> We're like, no, dang it, we are golfing. It was not a good round, that's for sure. So we did, had dinner, went home. You did or went home, yep. But at the end of the day, I thought it was an incredible experience. I would I would do it again just because I like experiences. I'm not sure if I could convince Dustin to do it again. I would do it again <laughs> if it was closer to home. I wouldn't do it again in in bc myself i, I would i'm definitely going to go back to salt springs island when 100%. i can just relax and hang out with the norse um <laughs> that's definitely what i'm doing next yeah yeah but check it out life under renovation hopefully it comes to canada soon as soon as we know we'll post and let everybody know so everybody can watch it do you think anybody but, actually watched this to the end we're at like 10 minutes almost there eh? yeah our diehards for sure watched it 
You know who you are. Okay, if anybody did watch this to the end, I want you to comment exquisite electric, Salt Spring Island, and a thumbs up emoji. And then we know who our true fans are. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you later.